Hello, my Buckeye Nation out there. Welcome to the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel show. Let's get right into it, my friends. Today's video is going to be about a special tribute to Buckeye own Dwayne Haskins. We all know Dwayne tragically uh, was struck by a vehicle Saturday morning in South Florida. Our thoughts and prayers goes out to Dwayne Haskins and his family. Um, he was only 24 years old. Uh, so tragic. God bless him. Uh, for me, he left a lot of memories as a Buckeye fan, to say the least. Uh, his one, for me, big time memory was in 2017. Uh, when he first came on the scene as a true freshman for the Buckeyes. He was the Buckeyes backup quarterback to JT Barrett. And we all remember when uh, JT Barrett had that free accident uh, where he ended up getting injured. I believe that was in pregame. Uh, he tried to stick it out, and JT couldn't stick it out. And here on the scene came true freshman Dwayne Haskins, where he led the Buckeye comeback, defeating our arch rival Michigan Wolverines that year in the big house. 31 to 20. And I remember watching Dwayne again a, a, as a young freshman. I'm thinking, you know, this young man has a lot of potential, without a doubt. That season, Dwayne threw four touchdown passes, only one interception. And again, this is a young man for me that he had dreams of becoming a Buckeye ever since he was a youngster. Uh, back in the Jim Trussell days, I remember reading a story that Dwayne, at a young age, 10, 11 years old, ended up meeting Coach Trussell and, quote, said that he was going to come to Ohio State and someday be the Buckeyes quarterback. Well, God bless him. Without a doubt, Dwayne Haskins lived that dream. I love the way, as young as he was, the future that he knew he could have and you know he put in his mind that someday he was going to be a Buckeye quarterback and he did just that God bless him in 2018 is when his career soared as the Buckeyes starting QB he threw for a record 50 touchdown passes and only eight interceptions he also threw for a record 4,831 yards passing in that 2018 season where he guided the Buckeyes to an amazing 13 wins and only one loss. 8-1 and one in the Big Ten and that great game that he played where the Buckeyes defeated the Washington Huskies 28-23 in the Rose Bowl. My friends, again, you know, when, when you think how young he, he, he was, you know, only 24 years old, and, uh, you know, his career that with the Steelers, you know, picking him up and signing him, uh, again, very, very tragic. Uh, again, uh, I heard a lot of good things about this this young man. I truly did. A lot of coaches. Uh, I know Urban Meyer, big time, liked him without a doubt. And um, you know, for me, it's 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 very sad. You know, he's only 24. My wife and I, we have a son that's 26. So um, you know, way way too young, without a doubt. Very tragic, very tragic death, to say the least. And uh, again, our hearts. And thoughts and prayers are with the Dwayne Haskins family. I hope all Buckeye Nation uh, liked this tribute today that I wanted that, without a doubt, thought that I should give Dwayne Haskins, you know, I, Buckeye Vinny here and Buckeye Nation, and he was truly, truly a very great Buckeye quarterback. When you stop and look, Again, 2017, he led the charge and led the comeback, defeating our arch rival, the team up north. 
And let's not forget in 2018, where, um, you know, he led the charge at home, drilling the team up north 62-39. to 39. I remember that game like it was yesterday. I believe he set a record in that game for most touchdown passes as a Buckeye. So again, he will always be greatly remembered as one of our own Buckeye Nation. Dwayne Haskins, may you rest in peace, my brother. Peace out. God bless. I'm out of here.